Hey everybody and welcome in to another JHow Tech Tip where we're going to cover how to connect your computer or laptop to your television to make sure that you can get both audio and video in just a few quick and simple steps. First things first, you'll go to the bottom right in your system tray, find your speakers icon, right click, and click on playback devices. Now, once you've got the playback devices open, you may or may not see your video card here, depending on your settings. You wanna make sure and right click and show disabled devices, as well as show disconnected devices, just to make sure that it is gonna show up there. Now, this will either say AMD output or NVIDIA output, depending on the video card you have. You might also just have onboard sound, but this will be it, AMD or NVIDIA. This is where your output's gonna come from. Now, as you can see, mine says not plugged in. If you have your HDMI cable plugged in, it will show up. If it's plugged in and it still says not plugged in, do the simple thing, restart your computer, try and get it set up. As far as outputting the audio, it's one quick and simple step. You'll simply click on the audio output that you want, and then you'll hit set default. You can also right click and set as default device. As you can see, I'm not able to do it here because I don't have an HDMI cable plugged in at the moment, but that's it. All you have to do, plug in your HDMI cable to your output. You might get video, but you might not have the audio. And this is where the solution will come in by going to your sound, your playback devices, setting up the output, and then making sure that your audio goes out as well. And that's how you set up, how to set up your computer or your laptop to your TV to make sure and watch those movies or those home videos that you have to have both video and audio. Well, that does it for this tech tip. Having trouble with something of your own? Tweet me or find me on Facebook for help. Might even make a video about it. Also, be sure to subscribe for more tech tips and other tech content in the future. See you next time.